everybody! Welcome back. Pop Retro, Pop Retro 1 on Instagram and on Twitter. Facebook.com slash Pop Retro 1 if you want to find me on the Facebooks. Just wanted to take a couple minutes to uh, talk about one of the latest releases from Boutique Label Vinegar Syndrome, and that would be The Laughing Dead. And as you can see, I am covering up part of the slip cover uh, due to YouTube rules because it does show some uh, anatomy, <laughs> shall we say. And so, uh, as always, um, Vinegar Syndrome, a uh, release company that is going back into the vaults of a lot of these uh, companies and finding some, well, I guess some of you would call them gems. I certainly do. And uh, making sure that they're restored and uh, kept alive and out there in circulation. And The Laughing Dead from 1990 is one of them. It was actually shot in 1989, uh, released in 1990. Now, um, this was directed by Thai director, uh, who is also a, an author and a musician. And his name is, it's hard to say, uh, Somtao Sukaritkul. Now, I totally butchered that name. I have no idea how to say it. But um, uh, this was, I believe, his directorial debut, I think. And what, what I found interesting about it is, is this is one of those movies that a lot of people uh, in the forums I've seen and online in, say, the Facebook groups um, and things like that. A, a lot of people um, kind of crapped on it. This was like, oh man, what a piece of crap movie. And so I put it near the top of my list because I've, I've often found that I wind up enjoying a lot of these movies that, uh, that people, uh, say are kind of the worst ones. And I guess it's because I like bad movies and is the laughing dead bad? Yeah, it is. It was done in again, the late eighties and it definitely fits that late night, uh, USA Up All Night vibe. Who knows, it may have even played on Up All Night back in the day. Um, but I had a lot of fun with it. You know, a after it kind of starts out slow, but once it gets into it, I just found myself chuckling all the time. And a lot of people said, uh, that I've read online, say, you know, I just couldn't stop laughing because it's so stupid. But I think that's part of the, the charm of this movie. And I think it's uh, part of the point of this movie. So I guess here I can show the it's a little more covered up um, than the actual slip cover. Um, a little less R-rated on the uh, the regular slip. So it's sort of a strange mix of horror, family, melodrama, um, sort of a feel-good monster movie, all kinds of stuff. And it's got those comedic uh, overtones. And essentially it's about a, a guy, Father uh, O'Sullivan, played by Tim Sullivan, who takes this really ragtag group of people on an archaeological trip. And they they go down into Mexico, um, i.e., I think, L.A., desert L.A., standing in for Mexico, um, just just to uh, look for artifacts. And uh, you've got this, this just hi hilarious collection of characters, um, starting with this girl named Lori, who's a teenager who winds up sneaking onto the bus, which is the first chuckle that I had because she pops up out of nowhere halfway through their trip on this bus. And of course, in real life, they'd say, oh, turn this thing around. How did she get, uh, wind up on the bus? But of course they don't. She just winds up uh, on the adventure. And then um, you have this new age couple, this, this uh, man and woman who are just cheesily into uh, all the new wave uh, thinking that was going on at the time, you know, you could, you could see that they're probably like, uh, I don't know, they're like vegans and, and they, uh, they uh, look at all this mysticism and they do it with such a, 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 a goofy tongue in cheek flair that it, it just had me chuckling all the way through. And after that, there's a, a, there's these couple of dudes that they're like these party guys and they're dressed so ridiculous. They look like, like mid seventies, like the Saturday Night Live wild and crazy guys, you know, Steve Martin. I mean, it just, it kind of, they, they had that kind of vibe and it was just so over the top and crazy. It, it's just ridiculous. And then, um, and then there's a, like a 12 year old boy who winds up uh, a, as part of 
the trip with his mother that may or may not have some connection to uh, Father O'Sullivan, the leader of this trip. And the actor who plays the 12-year-old, Patrick Roscowick, is, I, I thought he was, he may be the most convincing actor in the movie because he has this foul, utterly foul mouth and just cusses uh, up a storm. But but it, he he emotes really well, I thought, and uh, and when he goes off on his little tirades, it was just it, again, it was hilarious because it's like, oh my god, who talks like this? It probably reminds a lot of you of yourself at twelve years old when the parents weren't looking, you know, throwing out the f bombs and, and cuss words and and all of that sort of stuff. And so they 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 wind up on this trip, and of course, a lot of uh, bad things start to happen. And I mean, gosh, there's there's uh, there's some good gore. Uh, kills. There's um, some inventive uh, uh, story elements, like with these, I mean, literally there are zombies that play uh, basketball <laughs> in this movie. So if all of this sounds silly, and you can see some of the screenshots I'm pulling up here, and I'm, I'm not showing a lot of the gore screenshots. You can go to vinegarsyndrome.com and look at screenshots and find them all. And the only reason I'm not is because of YouTube algorithms and and all that stuff, you know, it might look like, uh, it might look too violent for YouTube, so I don't want to put the channel in trouble or anything. But uh, there's some great sets that I, I guess are like built out of tin foil and, uh, you know, really cheap sets, but they look really convincing. And there's even a stop motion monster battle near the end of the movie. So they throw everything in the kitchen sink out there, and the vibe of the movie really is, it reminds me of being 13 or 14 in 1990 watching a silly movie in the middle of the night on Showtime or USA Up All Night. It's got that vibe and I guess maybe I'm I have some nostalgia for why well, I definitely have some nostalgia uh, for that uh, type of thing. But um, but yeah I, for that to me it just makes it really super fun. Um, and so I mean if you're able to uh, if you're one of these kind of self-important people and you just have to take everything so seriously then yeah I would definitely say you know don't pick up The Laughing Dead. But if you're somebody who likes the type of movies that Vinegar Syndrome releases, I mean, this is what, literally two-thirds of the movies are, are can be looked at as, quote, bad movies or movies that are just so silly or so bad they're good or um, incompetently made or super low-budget independent. That That is what Vinegar Syndrome is all about. So I would be... Uh, surprised that you even like Vinegar Syndrome movies if something like this really does, you know, bother you and you can't enjoy it for what it is because it's so much of their output. So the disc itself has some nice extras. Actually, let me show you the inside. Well, I'm going to have to cover up the disc because it, again, is a little bit of the R-rated uh, art. And then you can take a look at the reversible art there. As you can see, it looks like the probably the VHS art from back in the day. And let's see if I can show you the back. Yeah, I think so. So there's the back of the case with the info, and there's some of the images uh, from the back. And uh, newly scanned and restored in 4K from its 35 millimeter original camera negative. There's a commentary track with the uh, writer-director, Samtao Sukarutko. And uh, there's also a fairly long documentary called uh, Unholy Assembly, Crafting the Laughing Dead. Really cool. It's got um, interviews with a lot of the people involved, including uh, the the two lead actors in the film and the director and a bunch of other people involved in the making of the movie. And there is a lot of interesting tidbits in there. For instance, that the a lot of the actors in this movie were actually LA-based writers. So it was like a bunch of writers, novelists and screenwriters that knew each other that all kind of got roped into this movie to, uh, to make this low-budget picture. Um, reversible cover artwork, English... SDH subtitles, and uh, let's see what else is in here. And I think that rounds out the uh, the special features. So there you have it. It is Vinegar Syndrome's The Laughing Dead from 1990, shot in 1989. And uh, I'm happy to have this in my collection, and I'm glad I put it at the top of my stack when I started reading how m many people were saying, oh, it's just awful. I can't get through it. So if you 
like the vibe that I've described in this video, then I think you're, you'll be safe to pop it in and give The Laughing Dead a listen. All right. Hopefully be back soon with another video. Um, I know last time I said I'll be back tomorrow and I've been off for about a week because real life gets in the way, but I'm going to keep trying to pump these things out to, uh, to get you as much content on what I'm watching, what I'm reading, what I'm looking at, and what interests me as we go along here. So I'll see you again real, real soon.